Yes, take away to you. I was trying to see I got out of Get to go back. What? How's my girls? How's my big girls, huh? So we got a fun day going on today, boy. I have Anna. She's the daughter of Tecla and Dogger. And I've got Tuba out. Tuba's the twin to Tecla. And so we're we're having a really fun time today. Now we're hustling because these girls are moving fast. The weather's cool. It's fall. And they're hustling. And uh, these girls always move fast. But um, today they're going so fast that uh, on a, you know how you, if you really work hard sometimes you actually throw up. Well, uh, Anna was doing that. I just about had to. Um, so I, I finally said, girls, we got to stop. So I got my wind a little bit before I started this film because I was right out of wind. And we've been running this ridge straight up from the valley. And that's a, that's a hike. And so we're almost to the summit. But it's windy up top and cold. And I wanted to stop right here. So uh, I'll cool down fast in this weather. So Anna is uh, here on the Desna training program. Now that's a phenomenal dog, just absolutely phenomenal. And um, I could run my whole life with that dog off lead and go anywhere in the world with that dog. I'd go anywhere in the world with these two. But uh, that that is an incredible pup. Now these two are two of the very best in the world, these two females. That dog is actually probably better. Um, the, the combination of genetics in that dog is so profound, it's not even funny. But um, th this, the skill level of that pup, she only just a little over 10 weeks, 10 and a half weeks. Her skill level is the same as these girls. Like it's uh, unbelievable, really. Now these girls I hiked with right from birth too, but um, I, I hiked with the grandmothers of that pup, of course. And before that pup was that age, I was hiking with the grandmothers, of course. But uh, that's Gaeta and Camp. Really, really exceptional dogs. Now, when you're looking for a dog and you want to have a family dog and you want to do some outdoor recreation, this particular breed of dog, this lineage especially, I mean, uh, this lineage was bred for what we're doing today, running the high country. I mean, they, they make an exceptional family dog for all types of activities, but they're extremely well suited to this. And you can just take that dog and you can head out and you around 15 miles, 20 miles. Camp, go another 20. Uh, this dog is bred for that. And you just literally roll your roll your pack out and sleep and these dogs are going to lay right beside you and watch you all night long and that's that's what they're bred for this is a, a the skill level of this trio here is so profound there's not even fun <coughs> there's many many 50 year breeders in the backgrounds of these dogs this is uh, the very best genetic line of elk hounds anywhere in the world, is this, this setup here. Uh, it's, it's astounding. So this is, um, on a stand for what's called the Desna Training Program. So she's, she's already finished the program, but she got another four weeks to go, but she's so skilled, she can just stay and cement everything in, but she's, she's awesome. This dog will lose track of these two, way gone. And she'll be, she'll be running with them as best she can. She'll know where I am all the time, but these two will catch a scent and they'll, they'll head out, just like two was about to. And she'll go with them. And they might get a long ways away from her. She's smart enough to track her way back, find my trail, and track her way to me. She does not continue to try and get further and further from me with them. She'll turn around and track me down. I mean, uncanny intelligence. And that is, and I've seen it many times already. It's phenomenal, really. The geographical, the, the instinctive awareness of where the handler is really something. Plus, she, she will track me. 
that you will literally find me. Pretty amazing. Now, if she catches my scent going across, she's just going to beeline to me. But if she can't see me and she hasn't caught my scent, if I'm down to draw, she's right on my trail, boy. She is some smart dog. So, yeah, really, really skilled. Now, a dog like this is a life changer because a dog like that, you see, when you bring a dog like that into your life, it enriches and enhances your life in so many ways because it's so good. You're never frustrated with a dog like that. You don't even have to know anything about training. All you got to do is be nice. You just got to be a good person. And that dog's just going to love you, work for you, do stuff for you, die for you. Literally. And uh, this is what um, makes a great dog lover. You get a dumb dog and you're like, good lord, I need treats, I need a trainer, I need everything. And I still can't get them to do nothing, right? I never use treats. And I got the most affectionate, most skilled dogs in the world. And that's what makes a life-changing event with a dog is is get a breeder that knows what he's doing and has the right lineage and works with other breeders who know what they're doing so that he brings in the right studs and the right females and you end up with this i mean unbelievable calm mentally stable focused <laughs> look at this girl this is my big girl oh my big girl oh my big girl what a good girl. What a good girl. Yeah, not goofy. Not crazy. Yeah, it's focused on the handler. Look at her mama. Holy. Yeah, pretty astounding. Tuva, come say hi. And, uh, yeah, just this is what a person dreams about when they want a good dog. This is what they, this is exactly what they look for. Um, everybody wants a pup. And you want to have a fun time with a pup, but they really want a good dog. Uh, you can you can have a good time with a pup, but you end up with a dumb dog sometimes, and that's a shame. Whereas this, you get a great pup and you get an incredible dog, right? So, hundred times better, way different life, and healthy their whole lives, no issues, no nothing. I mean, these are the healthiest line of dogs in the world oldest breed of dog in the world. Any faults were bred out thousands of years ago. These dogs are flawless. They just go. It's incredible. Look at this nature of this pup. Can you, can you believe it? Tova, come by me. So yeah, see we're right on the moose draw and I know they were running. They, they can tell the moose was down in that draw so Tuba might go hunting. We may hear her sound off down there. She may be a moose up there. It's been a big bull up here. So she's probably going to stop him for us. But that's totally fine. Uh, we'll go get her. Oh, here she comes. Tova's a scouter. Now here's the really cool thing. This little pup is coming right out of this dog right away again. Because Tova's bred. And I'm pretty sure she caught I bred her. To pretty boy leaf this round. I was planning to breed her to Dakota, but two is a bit of a mover and takes a supreme athlete to keep up to her and hook up. And so couldn't get Dakota to hook up. That was a shame. But that's okay. Not end of the world. It's pretty boy leaf, some phenomenal, right? So I've had dogs out of pretty boy leaf and her before. <laughs> Tor leaf and Loki. Um, there's there's a group of Norris and a bunch more, so Artemis and uh, so this this particular female is going to have these pups and about 50 days from now, maybe a little longer, maybe no probably 50 days from now, and uh, Tuba has world class dogs, just the very best. She's a tough female to get bred. I missed three cycles in a row. But I doubt we missed this time. I think we got it. I saw three hookups. And I kept putting her back out with Dakota. Because that's really who she wanted. So as soon as she got bred, I let her back out with Dakota. And then put her back in with Leaf and get her to hook up again and back out with Dakota. And I think psychologically she'll drop more eggs. 
So it, it, it might work, who knows. But I, I, she didn't really want to mate with Leaf, of course. She wanted Dakota. So I, I think just because she was right back out with him, I think it'll work. So that would be pretty cool. Now, she wouldn't stand. So I could sometimes just hold her chest and stop him from moving. But Dakota doesn't work with me in the pen. So then he would just stop. So I thought, well, son of a gun. But I'll get him another female because I think he, he could have got the job done. Um, I got him in some seriously good shape. So um, he ended up eating half my whole catch of salmon just getting ready. <laughs> so he's pretty healthy right now. <laughs> but I'll feed the rest of tuba. <laughs> Look at the mask on this dog, would you? This is a magnificent female, these two. So yeah, I've been running with these two from birth. They sat by side by side, right, little tiny guys. And of course, uh, all of you know Mon and Luna. Luna, the daughter of Tecla, has a litter in the, in the pen right now. They're five days old. Oh, they're fat already. Oh, she's a heavy milker. She's eating almost a whole turkey a day. Like, wow. She's a wolf of food down. Boy, I'm cranky if I don't get in there and give it to her right now. So I'm feeding her like five times a day. Yeah, she's wolfing her down, but her pups are so big already. So yeah, very, very cool. So I was up running this ridge on another side of this hill last night with Silver Nova and Silver Nasset, and they were hustling too. Um, I, ha I have had to really pick up my game this fall here because these females are moving fast. Silver Nasset and Silver Nova are fast moving. But... Uh, Silver Nova is going to be in in about two and a half weeks. She's bred to the son of Tecla, Mon, and incredible. Now, Mon, you see, is half-brother to the father of that dog, Dogger. Dogger is a son of Gaeta and Dakota, and I bred Dakota to Tecla to get Mon. And uh, that's, uh, that's an incredible female, that dog there. So, Dwayne. He has Dogger. He come and saw her yesterday. And just smiling ear to ear, boy, just like his big boy. He was so proud of her. And I'll have to get Tammy this link. Uh, she her, she has Sin and Dogger. And uh, Tammy and Dwayne. And so I will send the link of that pup to them. Beautiful, beautiful dog. It's just amazing. Now, Connie, she's got the two sisters. Connie and Mike got them down in Wyoming. And that's Yenny and Yori. And uh, they'll be running the high country down there in Wyoming, boy. So we're excited to hear from them soon. They just nicely got home, so uh, they'll be settling in down there. But they're running a match pair just like this. I kept the two that were matched. The two, Yenny and Yori, would sleep in that end of the pen. I want to sleep at this end. Next time I come in, Anna's there, the other two are there. We'd go out, Yenny and Yori would be just hanging by me, and Anna's over there. So I sent the, the match pair down there. They'll they'll love those dogs. It'd be just like this, just I, identical to this here. So uh, now these are Bram daughters. Bram's an incredible dog. Now just, just a quick background on this pup here. This pup has, uh, has background dogs from the all-time record holder in the UK at the big show over there for the most champions that that breeder has bloodline in this dog um, there's two Nordic champion hunting lineages right close to the surface of that dog there's non stop Sweden and Norway and Finland hunting champions in the background of that dog. It's, uh, it, it's such an incredible genetic combination that uh, I, w I would spend a week talking about the dogs in the background, but they're the very best in the world. And you can see what it produces. Just amazing pop, really. You, you couldn't find another 10-week-old pup to just cruise through the mountains, and and I don't even ever have to look for it. I don't even ever have to say its name. I'm just cruising. I'm trying to keep up, and it's just going. And I can solo hike with that dog. 
phenomenal. So yeah, now these girls, they got their wits about them because there's been a big bear up here and a big boy because he's turning over 300 pound rocks and uh, there's no way I could even roll the rock, let alone even move it, right? And he's flipping them right over and leaving big holes. And so there's a big boy cruising through here. So these girls, they can smell stuff all through the air here. And it hangs in the, in the wet grass and stuff now. And they're cruising all over these days, boy. Catching every berry, every rock, every grub, everything. They're eating everything. So uh, these girls, good to have these girls. These girls have had to move some bears up trees for me. Just nicely, too. They don't even bark. They just move them up the tree. We can hustle. The bear comes back down. They're pretty phenomenal dogs. And uh, very, very skilled dogs. And you can call them off easy. They just boom by me and away they go. See, they're catching scents right now. Just phenomenal. Coming up this draw, right? Coming up this ridge. So they go check it out right away. But uh, I'll have them step back in here for one more time, and then uh, we'll hit the road. Tecla, bring her here. Anna, Tuva, by me. That's my girls. That's my girls. Good girl, Anna. Good. Good. Come on. Come on. Good. 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 Good girl. Good girl. What a good girl. Come right up here, baby. What a good girl. What a beautiful girl. What a beautiful girl. What? What? You girls, stay by me. We'll just wrap up. Good. Tuba. Good. Tuba. Good girls. Good. Just stay right here. We'll say goodbye. This has been a good video. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Take, take it easy. So, yeah, Tuba's going to have a litter. Vita's bread. Anya's bread. Yeah, we got some fun times ahead, boys. There's going to be an awesome fall. The little litter of. Uh, Luna's little guys, there are six of them. Wow, three males, three females. Fatsos. Oh, ho, oh, oh. So, yeah. Good video, girls. Good. Yeah, you're looking at some really skilled, really serious dogs here today, boy. Best in the world right here. Now, I raised these dogs. Camilla Kennels. You can look me up. But I'll put the link in the description of the video. All right, girls, we got to get running. I'm cooling down. I'm cooling down. All right. Good. I'm cooling off.